the Lafayette Bridge carries 81,000 people a day into the heart of St. Paul. And you can't go any place in this town without going over a bridge. And is receiving some heated attention in the wake of the 35W bridge collapse. I'm pretty upset about it. The Lafayette Bridge was last inspected in June of 2006, and it received a deficiency rating of 49.5. The 35W bridge, which is just miles upstream from us, received a deficiency rating of 50. In 1975, just seven years after it opened, the bridge was closed after a crack in the main beam had been discovered. It was large enough to fit your arm into it. The 2006 MnDOT report shows that had the crack not been discovered, collapse would have been imminent. Like the 35W bridge, the Lafayette bridge is considered fracture critical, which means if one part fails, the whole bridge could collapse. Today, the bridge shows many signs of corrosion and deterioration in its steel trusses and gusset plates. Sounds of steel shuddering and vibrating emanate from underneath the rush hour traffic, and residents here are concerned that this bridge isn't slated for replacement until 2011. 2011. Jessica LePage was on the 35W bridge shortly before it fell. She finds it upsetting that the state isn't doing more faster. Don't sacrifice the lives of your citizens again because you don't want to spend money on roads and bridges. In recent days, MnDOT has been under pressure to perform further investigations into the Lafayette Bridge. They announced that in early September, they will perform an in-depth look at the bridge to see if it will hold out another four years. Replacing it any sooner is dependent on whether or not state funding can be made available. For WBRN News, I am Charles Abel.